Hey folks, Dan the man, the manufactured home man here, and today we're going to talk about how to save you thousands on site selection, site improvements, and how to make sure you're getting a fair deal. Let's jump into it. Hey, Dan the man, the manufactured home man, and we're going to talk about what are the five things. My head is exploding on buying a manufactured home. What am I going to have to, what am I going to have to do to get a house out on a piece of property? There's five things, okay? You got site selection, you got access to your site, site preparation. What does that include? Septic systems and utilities. Keep it as brief as possible. You guys can ask us questions later. We've already made a, a, a video on site selection. How to pick it what kind of material to use, so forth and so on, but you always want to pick the highest spot on the property. Next is site access. You're going to be responsible for any trees and any kind of limbs and anything for about a half a mile up to your property. And a lot of times they'll work something out with you to where those guys will, will ride the house and they'll cut limbs going into your property, but you're going to be responsible for that, so, so be prepared for that. Uh, and then you're going to have to have about 50 feet of clearance in front of your property and that's going to usually mean taking down some gates and some fences so be be uh, be aware of about a 50 foot opening to get into your property anything that's in the way tree limbs uh, old cars whatever is going to be your responsibility so be aware of that that's site access site preparation that includes everything from picking the highest spot using the right select fill dirt uh, am I going to go with concrete and there's another video where we talk about that in more detail but site preparation, you're also going to have septic tanks and utilities. So septic systems, there's two kinds. You have aerobic, which is what almost everybody uses now. And aerobic can go on a smaller piece of property. Um, it uses the, uh, it uses some, some oxygenated system where uh, there's sprinklers. And so they can go up to it. They can go as small as a half acre and they can do larger areas too. But if you have 10 acres or more, you're eligible to do an anaerobic system and your anaerobic system can cost less you can get an anaerobic system for three to four thousand um, dollars maybe f between three and five thousand but your aerobic are going to be 55 all the way up to eleven thousand dollars if you're getting close to a big city so yes if you have 10 acres or more consider an anaerobic system and then finally utilities water electric and septic if there's no water on the property um, usually you're looking at about five dollars a foot to run your your water lines from wherever the water access is to the home so that's something you can think about um, you know a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars is pretty average but if you do not have a uh, a meter at the road meters are about a thousand dollars and if you have to bore under the road that's an additional fifteen hundred so there's your scary stuff for water hopefully you already have water on the property okay and then utilities most electric companies are going to provide you the pole they want your they want your business so you're going to get an electric pole probably for free and then what it's going to cost you is from the pole to your house anywhere from 1800 to 2500 for wire and hookup so that's just kind of briefly five things now your head doesn't feel like it's going to explode because you know what you're getting into this is dan the man signing out thank you done and we cut it off there well right before we, you said all that but it's gonna yeah. there's a lot of people just oh you you can i didn't i wasn't taping it oh all right ah yeah. all right don't worry oh no let's do it so go ahead and ask me questions oh well i recorded it here you did? Yeah. Okay. I recorded the whole conversation. And you visit hundreds of customers' properties every year. When the customer is setting up their land, what's something you cannot stress enough? A lot of people don't have much choice. They got a piece of property. They got to do what they got to do. They got to find the high spot. That's okay. the big deal. They got to find the high spot because if they don't, they're going to have, it's going to cost a lot more to build a pad and uh, water's going to run into the home. So they need to find the highest point of the property and then they have to build it up. Now, most manufactured home outlets have their own team of contractors that they use. Can you save money by hiring your own contractors, and should you? Well, um, and can they save money like that? Yes, you can save money getting your own bids. Mm -hmm. You definitely can save money getting your own bids. And, uh, but it, it's, it's a lot of work, and if you don't know anybody and you don't know if they're any good, you're, you're kind of at the mercy of the dealership. If, if you have anybody that, 
Can you give me a couple referrals of people that have, that have done water and electric and, and septic with you guys before? Just two people that I can talk to to make sure everything went smoothly. And if you do that, it's going to piss the dealership off because it's going to be a lot of work. But they're going to do it, and it's going to be hard on them, but you're going to get a better uh, a deal because they're, they know you're, you're, you're smart and you're listening and you're watching. So